Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on live streaming app development series with PHP Backend. And in the last video, we created this slider and we displayed all our channels here. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is to improve this get channel data method here, I'm going to create new package here and create new data service. Okay. So as I told you guys, we're going to have multiple slider here. So we're going to have multiple category that is displaying multiple channels from the multiple sources, right? So for every channel that we are going to display here category wise, we need to call this request queue multiple times. Okay. So it's going to repeat our code multiple times here in the home page. So instead of doing that, what we can do is we can create separate model to receive the data so that we can call one model for all the categories that we have in our home page. So let me go ahead and show you guys instead of talking here. Okay. So I'm going to create one more package called services. So it's going to contain the data services that's going to extract the data from this JSON URL. Okay. So create the services package here and inside this, I'm going to create a class called channel data service. Okay. So this class is going to contain all the code that is going to retrieve the channels from the URL here and it's going to return the response. It's going to contain all of this, this data. Okay. So I'm going to copy this data from here and I'm going to create that method inside this. So uh, actually I'll just copy all this whole method. Okay. And I'm going to paste inside it. And we're not going to need all these for loops. So I'm just going to delete it for now because we are just going to return the response that we get here and we are getting some error. It says the context is not available. And since this is a class and we are calling this from the main activity, so we need to pass the context. Okay. So I'm going to create a context variable here so that I can pass them through the constructor and I will create the constructor here by using the generate method generate option going to constructor and select the context and now I can use this ctx here instead of this okay that's going to solve that problem now here I'm going to delete this as well okay so this is our generic code that will be used multiple times whenever we try to retrieve the data okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an interface here so that we can pass data that we received here. Okay. So since we are running this gate channel data method inside this channel data services Java, we need to figure out the ways in which we can send the data from this channel data services to this calling main activity Java file. Okay. So we can do that through interface. So I'm going to create a public interface here and let's name it as on data response. And through this interface, we're going to pass the data from this channel data services to the calling activity. And in our case, it is main activity. Okay. So this interface is going to have two methods. So we'll create one method to send the data if we get the response from the server. And in that case, we'll pass the JSON object as a response. Okay. And on error we'll pass the message that we get and that error message. Okay. All right. And let me uh, fix that. And if you are not familiar with the interface, then please go and read about it in the Google. But for this tutorials, you don't really need to know about interface. But if you have any, if you have some idea about interface, then you already know interface always contains only declaration of the method. It's not going to contain the uh, body of the method because we are supposed to override this in the calling activity. Okay. Now I need to save the data to this object response and error and I will save that data here inside this get channel data and to be able to save that data there, I need to create the instances of on data on data response here. Let me make it capital O here because that is the standard convention. I will create the instance of on data response like that. Now using this on data response instance here, I can call this on response and or error on error method inside this get channel data met method here. So I'm going to use on data response and I will be able to call the on response and I'm going to pass the JSON object that is response in our case that is available here. Okay. 
and here I will do the same thing with the on error method. So on error we will pass the string that we get from this for error stands here. Okay. Now we need to call this on channel data here in the main activity to retrieve the data. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create the instance of channel data service first. So channel data service and I will give the name as service and here I will initialize the class. So service equals to new channel data service and we need to pass the context using the this keyboard. Now we have this service variable here, the instance of channel data services class. I can use this to call this method get channel data. Okay. So I'm going to create one method here and let's ignore this method for now because we are going to make some changes there. Okay. So public void and I'm going to use this method to get the slider data. So get slider data and we will pass the string for the URL. Okay. And here inside this, I'm going to call the get channel data method that is present in our channel data services, right? So that's why I'm ref referencing the service here dot get channel data. And here it expect two arguments. So first one is URL and that we are getting from this URL method. And another one is on data response. So we need to create new instance of on data response. And it's going to automatically override these two method that we have created inside this interface. Okay. And now this response object contained the result of this API URL here. Okay. So now we can perform the same operation that we have done here. So I need this for loop. So let me copy the for loop from here. Okay. I'm going to paste inside this. And let me just log this error as well. So let me cut that and paste inside this on error method we have. And instead of get message, we'll just print the error because it is already a string. And now we will just delete this method. Now we need to call this method inside our on create method. So I'm just going to replace this here. Okay. In that way, we will be able to reuse this get channel data multiple times here in the main activity. Okay. So now if I run this application, it should give the similar data. So our application is running and you can see there is no change in our application. That means we have successfully improved our data extraction model and we have made that reusable in the future. So this is it for this video guys. In the next video, we will start implementing the category wise uh, recycler view here for the, our home page and I will see you in the next one. If you haven't liked this video, please, please like it and subscribe to our channel, help us grow and I will see you in the next one.